The background is base coated with two coats of French gray blue. I mixed one drop of burnt sienna to one drop of summer squash. And I'm going to base coat in my cinnamon stick. And I'm going to go right through the glass down to the bottom. I'm not worried if it's not even. Okay. On the apple, we're going to base coat the outside skin with the straight summer squash. Try not to have any water in your brush. This is going to go through the glass as well. So we're going to have to draw that glass back on here, but the don't go over top of your cinnamon. Put that apple in there. Even if it's just an illusion or it's not completely in line. the mix we made for this. Let's do a second coat. Now I'm going to take some white and mix a drop of white that is almost the same size as what amounts left. So that looks a little peachy. I think what I'm going to do is take some of that Put it on the side and mix some more white. Okay. I'm going to take that color and I'm going to paint the inside of the apple. Go around your seat or otherwise you'll have to draw that back in. Go ahead and take some burnt umber and paint that seed in and the stem. Let's go do a second coat on the apple. And I'll put a second coat of the light color that we created. I'm going to do a narrow side load down the sides of the cinnamon stick with my number 10 flat and when I hold my brush I'm going to hold it on a diagonal so all of the hairs are on the cinnamon stick and just bring that up or down whichever way you can get the paint to move Tickle over the whole surface. I'm going to dry that. Go down the other side. And while that's still wet with your number four round, pick up some of that burnt umber. And we're going to kind of go right down the center and it will dissipate because of the water that you left on the surface from the side load. Okay. 
Stick some of that darkness down here. Let's blow dry that. I'm going to make the outside or bottom side darker. And now I'm going to add a little bit of a side load to the top half where we made that line. Dry that. Now with this brush and some of that white mix from the inside of here, I'm going to put, it's pretty wet, and just the part that's sticking out over the, down the center. So that's just the part that was sticking above the glass. Uh, let's go take care of the apple. Okay, I'm going to start with some country red. And I'm going to use my four round. Pick up some country red. Make it watery. Like a wash. Wipe some off of my paper towel and come over my apple. Use my number 12. Create that wash again. Wipe most of it off of my paper towel. Try not to stop it in the middle. If you do, take your mop brush and mop that out. Try that. I'm going to do a side load. Walk it in and then mop it out. On the outside edge, because it's so narrow, take your round brush and flatten the hairs and pick up, swipe through the puddle. I'm going to keep a little bit of this yellow back here. Pick another side load. Bring it down the front. We'll blow dry that. And I'm going to kind of brush mix a little bit of the burnt umber with some of the red. Make it a little deeper and start on the outside edge again. And only bring it up to the cinnamon sticks. Outside edge, walk it in a little bit and end it at the cinnamon sticks. If you can do it with the same brush, I would suggest you do that, but if you have to, go to a smaller brush to do this little area here. Bring that color in. If you get on the white, just wipe it off with a clean brush. With a clean corner of your brush. 
I'm going to do the same on the very bottom. Down here. A little bit up. And I get some on the white. Clean my brush off with a clean brush. Just wipe your white. Wipe your white off. Okay. Let's try that. And I'm going to put one more side load of straight red on my apple peels. This one here, I'm going to go against the inside edge. I'll do this one with my round. Blow dry that. Take a, your dry brush and some of that summer squash. Wipe most of it off. Put a little bit of highlight. Right there. I'm going to take some light avocado, very thin, very thin, and I'm going to put it around my seed area. Put it here against this edge. Not from red to red though. Take some very pale burnt umber and I'm going to go against the inside edge and around this wedge. Get a little bit of red mixed in with it. Happy accidents. If you want, you can take a little bit of a cab red, uh, country red and just do a soft red. make that a little paler. Like it stained the inside of the apple. Looks like a wash. Very pale wash. A little highlight on the seed with a light mixture. And on the stem. Now we're ready to put some juice in our glass. So if you need to go back over with the line drawing, make sure everything is dry. Now we're going to fill our glass with apple cider and the apple cider is going to be spiced pumpkin and with some water make a wash very thin and let's put some apple cider in our bowl, in our cup. I'm going to dry that and I'm going to repeat. Now I'm going to take straight white, 
and with a side load I'm going to go down one side do a little C strokes in here and then come up the other side I'll mop that out first and then blow dry that. I'm going to wash a little of the white. In there. Across here. Take your liner brush with a full load and just do a little line. Across those. Okay. I'm going to do a little line across the top here. Now we need to do the handle. I'm going to wash the handle with some of this white watered down. A little bit of a side load on each of these. Chisel down. We'll try that and do a very light wash of this over the top part. set it on a table. Let's do some burnt umber. And I'm going to just chisel it in. This is not a base coat.
dry brushing of the summer squash. Now I'm going to take some French gray blue and my number 12 flat. I'm reinforcing the highlights with a side load of white. Now I'm going to add some dots with country red. And now I'm going to glaze with some country red. Now pick up some burnt sienna. I'm going to add a little bit of this around the seed pockets of the apple. Just kind of to like how when the apple starts to oxidize. And I'm also going to add a little bit of this around the red part of the apple. Now with some spiced pumpkin, I'm going to add a small dot inside or in the center of each red dot on the letter A. And if you want, take a liner brush and add a small dot of summer squash inside the center of the spiced pumpkin. Now I'm going to take my number 12 flat and some burnt sienna and add just some glazing of it around the base of the elements. Now I'm going to deepen some shadows on the back apple piece, cut piece. So I'm bringing the front cut piece forward. And this is done with burnt sienna. Take some light avocado and your dry brush, the, the dome round. And we're going to dry brush some of this color on the apple peel. And if desired, you can add a little touch here and there on the glass as a reflection. I wiped my brush off in a damp paper towel and picked up some of the country red. Work that into your brush, wipe most of it off. And I'm going to add a little bit of touch of this color, dry brushing it onto the glass. Again, it's a reflection of the apple. So now that we're done our project, I want to add a little bit of some spice to it. So I'm going to take my Duraclear Satin Varnish and a bottle of ground cinnamon. And I don't need a whole lot right at the moment. Take an old brush. And over the cinnamon and some of the table area, I'm going to put some of this varnish.
make sure it stays wet. And then with a little bit of the cinnamon, you're going to sprinkle some of that on there. Wait till it dries and then we're going to knock it off. So when it dries, take an old mop brush or old flat brush and wipe off the excess cinnamon from around the areas you don't want it. The excess off. Now I'm going to take that brush, like the one you just used for the cinnamon, load it with some of the sealer varnish, and I'm going to dab on top of the cinnamon just to seal that down. I don't necessarily cover all of it. And then the rest we're going to varnish. And I'm using the same brush right now because I'm still on the table, but I would not brush up there or over any other element right now with this because it's probably full of cinnamon. So when that's dry, then go over all the other areas with your varnish. Attach your rope, I mean, attach your wire and your ribbon, and you're ready to hang.